What can women entrepreneurs learn from other creative women? A whole lot, says our next guest, Grace Bonney, the founder of a company called Design Sponge and author of In the Company of Women, a book profiling other business women and artists who inspire her, such as Jody Patterson, founder of beauty shop Dubop and Georgia, a skincare line. Both Grace and Jody join us now. Welcome, ladies. It's such Hi, a pleasure to have you. Thanks for having us. Grace, let me start with you. What inspired you to put together this book? I'm honestly most inspired by what I don't see in a market, and I really wanted to see a book that embraced the full range of women in our community and the full range of paths to success that exist. Well, you open your book with a great quote, you can't mm -hmm. be what you can't see. Is that sort of the basis of your book? Absolutely. That was Marian Wright Edelman, and it just sort of speaks to the power of visibility and what happens when you don't have that visibility. So this book is really a testament to just giving women of all ages great examples of what they could be and can do. And Jody, what did you think when Grace approached you about being in the book? I mean, I was thrilled and completely honored. The list of, of women, I mean, I can't... Um, believe that I'm in the company of these women. <laughs> but more so than that, it was really how Grace approached it and her questions were so thoughtful. And there were questions about um, sort of the internal workings of a woman, how we think, how we feel our way through change and how we think and feel our way through business. Very, very interesting. And if you were to say there are one or two key things that all of these women have in common, what might those be? My favorite one is that everyone has given up on the concept of work-life balance. <laughs> we, we, we've all decided <laughs> that it doesn't exist and that we all need to cut ourselves some slack and really find a support system of women who can help us be true to that idea and to really support each other. And do you think once you realize that, that's strangely freeing? You stop trying to be everything to all people? It's no longer the goal right? Mm -hmm. to be balanced. It's just yeah. to have a full life. Exactly. Right. And so, Jody, tell us a little bit about your career because you left a very lucrative position, head of PR at Zach Posen, to strike out on your own. Why and how did you do that? Well, I've always been sort of um, whimsical in my choices of what I did. I was also in the circus as an acrobat, <laughs> oh, amazing. literally. Um, but I really wanted, at a certain point, I wanted my own story to be told. And um, I opened up a beauty boutique that was focused on global beauty. And I had this idea that like women are so compartmentalized. And I wanted us to think globally about, about beauty. So Grace shouldn't just buy white product and I shouldn't just buy black product, mm -hmm. but we should be thinking globally. And so that was sort of the impetus to um, launching Georgia and then that grew into a digital platform, which is Dubop. Fantastic. Now, if you were to look at all of these women from a business perspective, what are some of the lessons, Grace, that you think so many of them have learned? I think one of my favorite lessons uh, came from a woman named Mary Going in San Francisco who reminded me to be willing to be bad at something before you got good at it. And I think being, you know, being able to accept that you're not gonna do things perfectly the first time, it was so freeing to just say, I'm gonna try my best, learn from that, and move forward. It was always so about So failure forward. was okay, just as long as you learned from it. Absolutely. So Jody, I'm so curious about how you did this, because I think there's so many women out there who would look at you and think, wow, you know, she, because you have five kids, right? And, yeah. and a husband. You had a great job with all the health insurance that that entails <laughs> and all that great stuff in the yeah. corporate life. And, and you had a family, so it wasn't like you were a single woman who said, you know what, I'm gonna give it all up and try something risky because I only have me to worry about. You know, you had a family. So how would other women in that position, what, what advice would you give them? They might be worried about that. Do you know what I mean? Well, there's some sacrifices. I mean, I sacrificed yeah. health insurance, private for public. Right. Um, and I took care of certain needs for my kids first before myself. Um, but I, ideally, I think the thing to remember is that there's an emotional intensity that women have that we can use towards our businesses. We have an enormous capacity to multitask. Mm -hmm. And so that's really what you have to think about. You have to think about how you can do it, not, not why you shouldn't. Right. Um, and then you just rely on your family, your husband, your wife, or so and so, whomever your partner is, you rely on them to help feed the entrepreneurial spirit. It's a team effort, for sure. Do you ladies have any advice for recharging at the end of a particularly grueling <laughs> day, week, month, year? <laughs> Unplug. Unplug as quickly as possible. I think it is the fastest way to decrease the amount of people and voices that need your attention. I you sprint. Do? I have 15 <laughs> minutes of sprinting. Uh, I play Drake. <laughs> And I don't have a lot of time, but 15 minutes on the streets of Brooklyn, and I'm a new woman. That's great advice. I love it. Jody and Grace, thanks to both of you. You're both such inspirations, so thank, thank you for you. coming. Thank you.